I decided to watch the Knicks play L.A. or attempt to watch the Knicks play L.A. and wound up having to sit through three quarters because what we got to see after a reasonable Knicks first quarter was the worst two quarters of basketball maybe in Nick history, and without question, the worst quarter of basketball in Nick history. The Knicks last night against a D-League team of players that the staunchest of NBA fans could not pick out of a lineup, they gave up 87 points in two quarters. In the second and third quarters, and the third quarter— the Knicks, or whoever was masquerading in Nick uniforms, these dogs, these bums who were out there on the court last night against Phil Jackson's old team, against their old coach, playing for what is supposed to be a playoff spot, they allowed a bunch of D-leaguers to score 51 points in the third quarter. Now, realize this. The Knicks in their history— at their all-time worst. And remember, this is a team that allowed 100 points to Will Chamberlain in a game. They had never allowed 51 points in a quarter in their history. They gave up 51 points to a bunch of guys who shouldn't even be in the league. So you have to play invisible defense. You have to almost be, you have to be deliberately bad to allow 51 points in a quarter. The Lakers... The Lakers, the storied Lakers, who at one time had Will Chamberlain, Elgin Baylor, and Jerry West in the same lineup, who once won 33 straight games with a Will Chamberlain, Gail Goodrich, Jerry West team, who at one time had Showtime under Pat Riley with Magic Johnson, Abdul Jabbar, James Worthy, Byron Scott, Norm Nixon. Those Laker teams never scored 51 points in a, in a quarter in their history. And last night, guys you never heard of scored 51 points in a quarter. That's the depths to which the Knicks sunk to last night. 51 points in a quarter. Did you see the stats that the Lakers shot? The Lakers shot 18 of 28 from three, and at one point were 14 of 19 from three-point range. 14 of 19, getting layup after dunk after layup. And this is a Laker team that is awful. That's the second worst team in the West and one of the worst teams in the league playing without any of their players. A team that Kobe Bryant called a bunch of bums last week. A team that has been run out of L.A., laughed off the court. They laughed the Knicks off the court. You saw D'Antoni sneering on the bench. In the third quarter, giggling with his assistants as the Lakers went up and down the floor and got basket after basket and layup and dunk after dunk on this Nick team. So if you're the Knicks, how could you possibly show your faces after that game? This, was the, this is the low of the low. This is it. This is back up the truck. And I, you know what? I don't care who goes. If they all go, good riddance. I don't care if Carmelo goes. I don't care if Chandler goes. I don't care who goes. It can all go. If you clean the uniforms last night, you can go. If you taped an ankle last night, you can go too. Anybody who touched anything they had to do with that game last night, if you never come back, I'm happy. Ever. If I'm Phil Jackson, I'd lock the doors before the Sacramento game. I'd bring up the D-League team. I'd bring up a whole new team and play them tonight. After watching that last night, 86, 87 points in two quarters to this Laker team. I guarantee you, you couldn't name five guys on the Lakers. And there's Carmelo, you know, acting tough at the start of the fourth quarter. What? You're down 45. Now you're going to start to get tough on defense. And the Lakers were loving it. They came out in the fourth quarter, and they were pressing the Knicks up 40.
They're loving it. Then Tony's figuring, listen, I'm getting fired, but I'm going to have this night to remember because I'm making the Knicks look even worse than I look.